Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Camille Trent. Today we're going to work on wildflowers. These are really loose and easy wildflowers to paint. A um, few simple brushes, simple colors, just moving the paint around and washing it around. If you have any questions, please leave them in this comment section. Please don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know when my videos are up because they're kind of sporadic these days. And also, thank you so much for coming by. If you're new, hello. If you're not, thank you for subscribing. So let's get started. Okay, so let's go over um, supplies. I have Arches 100% cotton cold pressed paper. This is what the pad looks like if you're going to purchase it online. Just like that. It's, uh, it has a nice little grain to it. I've got my paints here, my colors. I'll go over as I use them. I'm gonna be using several brushes. I'm gonna start off using this really simple one, this Robert Simmons Craft Number One flat brush. I got my water jars up here. Water jars, the old ball jars, paper towels, and whatnot. So basically, you mix up a lot of greens that you want to use purples, blues, whatever kind of wildflowers you colors you like. This is not a set tutorial of like how, um, I mean, do exactly as I do, but you know, I'm just showing you like an, a way to make it loose. So I'm going to just put some green on this paintbrush here. And I'm standing up because it makes you looser when you paint. So I'm just gonna whip up some just lines of stems. And then I'm gonna go in and grab my ground backer tent. Actually, no, I'm gonna grab it's a lot bigger and looser. It's the Princeton Neptune 12 round. I'm gonna grab some of this paint. I'm gonna make some ultramarine with some violet or purple, whatever you have. If you don't have that, you're going to need um, a really good pink, not a red, to make a nice purple. Um, red and blue make a dull, ugly kind of purple. So I'll make this bluish purple. Get a fairly wet. Dab it on my brush, on my paper towel to see how I like the color. And I'm just gonna make like, you know, like delphinium type of, of or foxglovey type flowers. Just dabbing in here. Very simple and loose. And pull it down so you can see better. This is a fairly big size paper. And those will be the back flowers because you're in a, if you're in if you're in a garden, you see that the taller flowers, of course, are in the back. And you see, I'm just dabbing in the paint sporadically, nothing special. Just like that. I can always add in the greenery around it. I'm going to clean up my brush. I'm going to go take some dark yellow. Oops, I've got some green in my brush still. I've got a little bit of medium red in here. We're going to start making some nice pretty yellow. It can be sunflowers, it can be black eyed Susans, but this is a daisy type flower. And see, I'm just t pushing down on my brush and pulling up. Down, pull up. If you don't have this big brush, you can use a smaller brush. Um, I will show you how to do that in a second. So, if you have just your ordinary type of smaller brush, something like this size. It's still, still the same effect. And this is the Princeton 8 Neptune. Now I told you before, they have like four or five of these brushes on Amazon, the Neptune series and the Velvet Touch series for like $23. It's fairly cheap if you ask me. Um, you just, again, here we go, I'm gonna put one over here. Pushing down and pulling up. It will make a smaller leaf. I'm mean, sorry, petal. I'm not thinking straight. But you can get the same look. And if you need to make it bigger, you just you going in and grabbing the paint and just making it wider yourself with the brush. But you can make the same kind of effect with the smaller petal brush. Small petals, same thing, just a smaller brush. You know, here I'm gonna make a small one over here. We'll add the black in a bit. Now around those delphiniums I did. I'm going to clean up my brush. I'm just going to grab some water 
and have it bleed out a little bit next to it. See, I'm just pushing around the paint next to it, just softening it up. This has this bleeding effect, like it's been trying to be wiped away from the universe. That's kind of how I do it here and there. You can go back in and add some darker tones. I would add in the ultramarine in the purple, like right almost tube. I'm just dabbing it in and bleeding that out a little bit. And if it's a little too bright, you can go in and add some indigo. So you're getting that nice effect that it's kind of been washed away. And you want to grab in some green paint and make some leaves now. I'm going to add a little brown. You can add, if you don't have brown, what number, you just add a little red, whatever red you have. And that will dull it too. Make that green a brownish green. And go in and I'll add the, the top part and some leaves. Just pushing down. See, I'm just pushing down on that, making that fairly loose leaf. They're supposed to be wildflowers, so they're supposed to be kind of wild and crazy. And I keep mixing up different paint colors to get that deep green, some indigo. And even the sunflowers have a deeper green petal the leaf. I'm just going to go up here and add in some just doodads to get the idea it's this tall flower. All right, I'm going to clean that up. I'm going to put some pinks in here now. Be like a poppy, it could be red. We've got this pink rose color. I'm going to water it down a little bit. Might add some medium red to that. Let's change this color up a little bit. Make like a poppy. And that's just, again, see how I'm just pushing it around like that? Circular, again. I don't fully make the petal here. You wanna add some more medium red. Get that red poppy in there. I have a poppy tutorial. What really makes the poppy is the center anyway. And you can make a California poppy. Just by going like this. I get some medium red here, more medium red. It's kind of like a I mean, like a half half circle line like that. And we'll add in the center later, like right in here. Put in the stem. So now we're building this wildflower um, painting. I'm going to add some, like, you can add some corn, you know, the cornflowers are made with like turquoise, turquoise, cerulean blue color. I might have to swipe up some of the purple paint out of here. Get some of my turk in there. And because they're smaller petals, I'm gonna grab a small brush. And those things just look like these spiky little flowers, if you've seen them. The corn flowers. Just look like that. They might be too turkey, so I might add some more cerulean. Awesome. And then go blue. And a deeper tone in there. Put a few of those. Those are pretty tall, actually, those flowers. Put one over in here. And put one down in here. Okay, so we're going to add in some more yellow. Getting some deeper tones, gonna get some thicker dark yellow, touching the medium red. Just gonna build up on some of that tones of that wildflower, which is 
like a black eyed Susan or yellow. Just putting in a deeper tone in here. My other yellow got kind of messed up. That's why you want to be careful when you're mixing paints. All right. Just gonna keep playing with that, adding some more yellow in here. And then this one, the orange, just a deeper tone. And same thing with the poppy. It's gonna be blacking here, so we're gonna just get the tone darker from the inside out. And then we got the pink ones over here. Just adding in some deeper hues. I want to add in some more leaves and stems. I'm going to grab my eight long round brush. Grabbing some green. This is kind of creamy, but I'm going to loosen it up. Let's get some stems in there. And we want some leaves too. So we're just pushing our paint around. See, when it's just that leaf shape in here too, and then out in here. We're just dabbing in some green paint all around. Just filling in these holes. Doesn't have to be a specific type of leaf. Just throw it in there. See that? Just throwing it in. You want to fill in the gaps now. Um, you can grab some nice light green, just throw it in there too, right over the green. See that? Just filling in the gap with some bright green. Just take whatever green you have, add some yellow to it, give it this really bright green. It just punches it right up and you're creating this fun, bright, wildflower. I don't know if this would be a field or not, but scenery. Again, I'm going to go add in some more green stems in here. Probably should put a little more flowers down in here. Not too much though, because you want it to know like it's in the field and you want to have that greenery. So I'm going to keep adding some more greenery over here. Getting in deeper tones of green. Whoop, that's almost indigo itself. But that's okay, we can work with that. You want some of those deep, rich, dark greens as well. To balance the light ones, like right here, under the flowers. Put a leaf in there. I like the indigo with the green. It has that blue-green tint to it. See, I'm just throwing in some stems, haphazardly and some leaves, just simple leaves, so just crisscrossing like that, see that? Nothing special. I'm just building up this whole look, and then that cornflower lost its <laughs> kind of its petals over here, so I might have to go back in and clean that up and add a few of those. Just to back in, because it got diluted with the, the wash. I'll just throw this back in over in here. And down in here, I think I'll do some simple blue flowers, just like little blops. So I call them little blop blops. And you just add stems to those. It's supposed to be wild and crazy, right? So we're adding in the greenery now. I'm just going to pull that down. Some of it's dry brush, some of it's not. And then we're going to wash some of it in. Take my bigger brush, water on it, grab some of that yellow. Just washing in this greenery. So you got that wildflower field. Just 
washing it in. Throw in some little marks over in here. See, I just threw those little marks in. Just like crisscross and throw them in like that. Swoop it out like that. Okay, I have some swooping out up here too. You're just taking the tip of your brush and you're swooping it up. Look how simple that is. It wasn't that hard. Now we're going to fill in just a little bit, little bit of details. Um, the Black Eyed Susans, the poppies. It's a little wet, so you want the paint to be fairly thick, almost right out of the tube. So it's not going to bleed as much. I always like to leave a little halo. See that? Leave the little halo. Just like that. And then the poppy. There's no white because we didn't leave that little halo, but it's still, you'll know what it is. And then we'll take the, the tip of the brush and we're going to swoop up little lines, not too close. And then I'm going to add a little dot on top of those lines, the stamens, the poppy. Or you could do the dots first to see where you like them and then connect them into the center. Just like so. They won't have that in the Black Eyed Susans, but the poppies do. And then the, the purple flowers, you can go in and add some yellow to the center of those. Just throw that in. And there you go. It's a simple, kind of crazy wild. I mean, for this orange one, you could add black, blue, purple, whatever you feel like. Maybe a little brown on that one. But that's just a simple, loose wildflower field. Like I said, standing up helps you a lot. Um, moving the brush around, like you see I just moved it around, just blopped it and put the water next to it. It bleeds out a little bit. You know, have some fun with it. Don't get frustrated. It takes time to get used to just plopping colors around. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. I know I say it all the time, but it just helps my channel and I appreciate it very much. I appreciate all my followers here on this channel. I appreciate all your comments. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I try and get back to them. Um, yeah, I'm trying to reach like, you know, like everybody else, trying to reach 100 subscribers, 100,000 subscribers. But you know, I appreciate every single one of you guys. And I hope you have a great day. And I hope this brightened up your day a little bit. Take care.